assalamu alaikum welcome to the channel content creator hope you all all are fine and today my topic of presentation is biologically active peptides and polypeptide all the table of content of this topic is peptide polypeptide biologically active peptide and biologically active polypeptide Firstly, I will talk about polypeptides. Peptides are the condensed product of a peptides are basically the condensed product of amino acid. Condensed product means that the product in which amino acids are combined together by the help of a peptide bond. And peptides contain only two to ten amino acid. Examples of a peptides are dipeptides and tripeptides. Uh, so uh, these are the type of a proteins. In term we can say that because they have the same uh, building block as the protein have and the next term which we are going to which we need which we have to know before going to the main topic of presentation is polypeptide polypeptide is also a type of a protein and uh, it ha it is complex in a peptide because it contain amino acid in greater number as that of a peptide it contain a number of amino acid about in figure 10 to 20 and in figure 10 to 50 and there may be more than that 50 amino acid and according to new classification these polypeptides mostly have a structure called quaternary structure to exemplify a polypeptide here i have considered a hemoglobin which contain 50 for amino acid so from here it is confirmed that these polypeptides may contain amino acid greater than 50 now uh, these peptides and polypeptides which are biologically active are produced in ribosome which is a protein factory and most of the protein synthesis occurs in ribosomes occurs in occurs in ribosomes so uh, these polypeptides and peptides are also produced in ribosomes and examples of a polypeptide are starch glucagon glycogen and insulin glycogen and uh, starch they both are the storage material glycogen is an animal storage material and starch is a plant storage material and glucagon and insulin play an important role in glucose maintenance so from here it is confirmed that each and every polypeptide or peptide have its own function according to the need of a body now we now the next is biologically active peptides here the word biologically active mean that these peptides are basically the biological molecules or organic molecules and active mean that they are involved in the functions necessary for the body as i have te um, previously discussed the function of glucagon and insulin in glucose maintenance they are active molecules so we can say that they are biologically active they are performing different functions inside the human body or animal body animal or plant body necessary for their survival and these active polypeptides perform their function under the supervision of endocrine system immune system cardiovascular system and nervous system and these systems are mostly altered by a blood pressure these systems are and these systems are mostly altered by and these systems are mostly altered by blood pressure so we can say that the function of a biologically active peptides are also altered by the blood pressure thick these biologically active polypeptides are also these biologically active polypeptides are also also involved in the treatment of in the treatment of a various diseases and disorders okay for example as i have previously discussed that they maintain the glucose level which may lead to a disorder in the body and in this way by controlling a disease and disorder they increase the quality of a life they increase the quality of a life now exists there are now i will uh, tell you some of the examples of a biologically active peptides with the examples number one is uh, glutathione which is a tripeptide and tripeptide mean that it contains three uh, peptide bond and four amino acid in its structure and it's basically a coenzyme and it's its function is that it prevent oxidation in a body its function is that and its function is that it prevent oxidation in its function is that it prevent oxidation in a body and second its function is that it is involved in the transport of second main function is it it, it is involved in transport of information amino acid and the third most important function is that it is involved in the detoxification which mostly occur in liver and 
intestines and other important functions which is necessary because um, it detoxify the harmful uh, uh, molecules or compounds that we eat up or that are produced in our body and are harmful for our body so in this way by performing a detoxification and by preventing uh, oxidation it increases the quality of life the third most important function is it prevent free radical formation in the body as we know that free radical is highly reactive species and it react with any of the compound that is present freely in the body so by reacting with other compound it may result in the formation of some toxic compounds harmful to the body so glutathione prevent the free radical the next the next important biologically active polypeptide is trh which is a tri which is thyrotropin releasing hormone as it is important factor released from the hypothalamus and it governs the pituitary gland to produce thyroid gland and thyroid gland produce t3 and t4 so it is also a tripeptide because t3 and t4 t4 both contain three polypeptides and four it contain both of them contain and both of them perform different metabolic functions growth functions in the body so it is also a a peptide which is involved in normal growth and metabolism of a the second the third important is a uh, peptide is oxytocin which is important during the childbirth it is a nano peptide mean to say that it contain 10 amino acid and 9 peptide bonds and it play the most important role in childbirth so from here we can govern its importance in a body uh, and it's uh, released only during the childbirth and it is also involved in lactation uh, parturition and these functions the fourth is anti diuretic hormone which is released from a posterior pituitary gland and it maintain blood pressure in our body as previously i have told that blood pressure maintain immune system cardiovascular system nervous system and uh, these systems control the function normal function of body so adh is mainly involved so we can say that in a short if in few words if i say that adh is involved in maintaining life of a person if adh as adh maintain blood pressure and blood pressure maintain throughout the function of human body so adh is the most important among all these active body uh, the next is um, methion in the next is next is angiotensin which is present inside the blood vessels and as adh maintains the blood it control if the blood pressure elevates or drops it bring adh bring the blood pressure to the normal level and angiotensin is especially released when uh, blood pressure is low uh, when blood pressure is low and it bring it towards the normal level theek and its over secretion may result in high level of blood pressure which is in turn maintained by adh so angiotensin is having both useful and harmful effect but adh is having useful effect the next is methionine encephaline which is present inside the brain and this uh, methionine encephaline uh, stimulates the relief of a pain inside the body for example we can say that if we are having a cut on a finger and uh, it pain initially at At, at the spot most of the cases it pains too much or we don't feel feel a pain at the point but after some time we feel a pain that we are having a so much pain so it's under it's due to the methionine encephaline a penta poly penta peptide present last the next is bradykinin and aspartate bradykinin basically dilates the blood vessel blood vessel that is basically present in arteries and it help the arteries to bear the high blood pressure mean to say that uh, when blood is released from aorta with high pressure bradykinin bradykinin enables the blood vessel to dilate and to sustain that blood pressure and uh, uh, the next is aspartame which is matlab uh, it provide calories to the body. the next uh, we will tell about is biologically active polypeptide as initially told they contain 10 to 50 amino acid and more than that examples are transporters enzymes hormones and structural support molecules 
Firstly, transporters are the proteins and peptide transporters from, as their function is indicated from their name, they are involved in transportations. There are two means of tram transporters, they intestinal cells and the kidney cells. And they, their main function is the transportation of different compounds from different from one side to another side. And the second is enzyme. Enzymes are basically the polypeptides and enzymes are very useful for metabolism inside the body because it speed up the metabolism, it give metabolism, it carry out the metabolism in less time. As uh, you can see here, the enzyme lactase helps in the breakdown of a lactose into galactose and glucose. And it is produced when a body is having low level of glucose. If the enzyme lactase is absent, then lactose breakdown is not possible. So enzymes are also essential, uh, biologically active polypeptides. And, and the next is hormones. Hormones are also protein in nature and they may made up of more than two polypeptide genes. Example is insulin, glucagon and hormones. These ex hormones are some of the hormones are polypeptides and some of the hormones are uh, peptides. See? For example, if I talk about the glucagon and insulin, they both are polypeptide and oxytocin and growth hormone. They both are, growth hormone is also known as prolactin and they both are peptides because oxytocin is a nanopeptide and growth hormone contains, um, growth hormone is also a nanopeptide. So hormones are, um, are the polypeptides necessary for the regulatory function of a human body. Last, okay, here different uh, insulin is involved in maintaining the blood glucose level and it is produced from the beta. Glucagon is also secreted from the alpha cells and it um, it is secreted when body is having a low blood glucose level and it produces gluconeogenesis. Topic about the whole topic regarding the biologically active peptides and polypeptides. Hope you all understand it well. If you have any query or any question, you can dial it in the comment section. So I will answer it to you. Thank you so much.